Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about the difference between site pages and application pages. As you'll notice, here I am on the home page of my site, and I'm invited to go in and edit that page. So there are several different ways to go and do that. And when I get into that page, I can edit and just type right into it. So that means that this is a site page. I can edit it. And it's a subset of the site page. It's actually a wiki page. So as you see, I can type in here, and that's what wiki pages are really good for. All right? I've shown you in several other demos how you can work with wiki pages. There are also other pages, like if I go into documents here, this page I'm not invited to edit it, as you see, but if I go in here, I can edit this page also. But I can't type directly in here. There's no typing space. What I can do is add more web parts. That's the second type of site page that I can edit. That's a web part page. That's all I can do with it. I can add and modify web parts. And that's a lot, but you can't type directly into it. The third type of page is if I go into site settings, you see I'm at the address where it says underscore layouts. This page I cannot edit. There's no way to edit this in Office 365 at all. On premise you can edit the page, but it's um, lots of work and it's certainly not a no-code solution. But So in general the rule is site pages you can edit, uh, application pages you cannot edit. And uh, site pages are of two types, wiki pages and web part pages. So I hope that clears it up for you. Thank you for watching this demonstration.